I just want to encourage you guys today, reach out to somebody, text them, email them, call them up, PM them. Hey man, hey, just want to thank you for your friendship. Just want to thank you for whatever, right? Just thank them, reach out, be intentional. It takes 10 seconds, 20 seconds to add value to somebody's life. Put maybe a first name in the, in the thread below of, of um, you know, because the thing too is, being grateful is an aspect of emotional intelligence too. And it's also a function of your heart, right? How, how thankful are we? There's a, there's a Psalm where the whole Psalm in the Bible is all about, man, I praise God for this and I praise God for that. And I praise God for this. And I'm like, man, I think it was Ranger David, you know, big Ranger David wrote a bunch of the Psalms and big Ranger David, man, just, he was super thankful. And it's like, man, you know, God help me to be more thankful. Help me to be more grateful. Welcome to the EQ for Entrepreneurs podcast. Like most business owners, you already know you need good business and marketing strategies to scale and be profitable. But at some point, you've hit the dreaded wall where you feel stuck and frustrated. EQ for Entrepreneurs is for business owners and leaders who are honest enough to admit that they just might be the ones holding their business back and are brave enough to change that. We're Noble and Kathy, and every week we're having candid conversations about all things emotional intelligence and how growing that has allowed us to get out of our own way and is radically transforming both our businesses and our personal lives. This is the secret sauce strategy for modern entrepreneurs who are tired of hustling without seeing results and want to grow a business and a life that they love. Boom, leaders, influencers, and entrepreneurs. So super humbled. So I just got off the phone <clears throat> with a couple folks that completely out of the blue just called me. Uh, one guy left me a voice message I, and I'm just returning his call today. Another guy just called me out of the blue. Two of them, so one guy, and I didn't even know this, one guy has known me for, man, 20, like 22 years. But, but, and I, I've, you know, I knew of him back in the days, but I didn't like know him, but he was watching me just in my life, live my life, do my thing, that kind of thing. And, and then it's other guy I've been friends with for, you know, probably 10 or 15 years. And you just never know who's watching you. You never know you never know who, who man, I, it was just, I was so humble. Both these guys are very successful guys. Uh, one guy, t like a 25 year career in the military, special operations guy, a lot of different, you know, alphabet agencies and stuff. This other guy, very successful entrepreneur, business guy. And it was just humbling, like to, to, to you know, get these messages from these guys and reach out, it just it really convicted me. It made me think, man, how many times do I do that? How many times when God puts someone on the phone, or I'm sorry, when God puts somebody on my heart, do I reach out and just call them or just text them? Like, and maybe they pick up, maybe they don't. But but man, let me leave them a voice message. Let me leave them a text, right? So so that would be my my I guess my challenge to you is. Because it just convicted me that I need to be a better friend. I need to be a better, yeah, be a better friend. And when God puts people on my heart, reach out immediately and just and say, hey, I'm praying for you. I'm thinking about you. Um, and be specific too. Like, hey, man, you know, this is how, you, how you've impacted me over the course of the past week or over the past year or five years or 10 years. Like never, because here's the thing too, man. So my, my dad passed away how long has it been 10 years 11 years 11 years now and I'm so thankful I'm so thankful that literally the two years leading up to my dad dying my dad every time we talked on the phone he would tell me three things before we got off the phone for two years and I thought it was totally cheesy until he died and then I was like, wow, I was so thankful 
that he had done that. But for the two to three years before he died, every time we talked on the phone, he would end every conversation this way. Noble, I love you. I believe in you. And I'm proud of you. Every time that we talked on the phone, and that was powerful for me, man. Again, I thought it was cheesy at the time. Like, come on, dad. Like, you know, hey, thanks, dad. You know, but when when he died, I didn't have any regrets with, man, I wish, I wish I had told my dad how I feel about him. Or, man, I wish my dad had told me how he feels about me. He told me every time for three years before he died how he felt about me. And I'm so thankful that we had that opportunity. So that was, it just convicted me that I want to be more, more, I want to be a more intentional. And then with these two phone calls, I want to be a more intentional friend. And, and cause how long does it take to, to text somebody or PM somebody, send them a quick message, give them a quick phone call. And, and, and that's my buddy, my, the one guy that today, his, his name's Anthony, he, you know, Noble, I, I don't want to keep you long, bro. I just want to call you up and tell you that I miss you and I love you. He didn't have to do that. He's a busy guy. He's got twins. He called me out of the blue. Another guy, you know, the other the other guy, the special operations guy, retired military, 25 years. He was the first black general's aide in the 82nd Airborne Division. The first, you know, so this guy, he's like a legend, right? A, a, a military special operations legend calling me up, telling me that I've impacted his life. Like, It's humbling. So I just want to encourage you guys today, reach out to somebody, text them, email them, call them up, PM them. Hey man, hey, just want to thank you for your friendship. Just want to thank you for whatever, right? Just thank them, reach out, be intentional. Leave me a thought or or maybe the first name of someone that you're going to reach out to today of who you'd like to, to, to add value to. Just a quick, takes 10 seconds, 20 seconds, to add value to somebody's life. Put maybe a first name in the, in the thread below of, of um, you know, because the thing too is being grateful is an aspect of emotional intelligence too. And it's also a function of your heart, right? How, how thankful are we? There's a, there's a Psalm where the whole Psalm in the Bible is all about, man, I praise God for this and I praise God for that and I praise God for this. And I'm like, man, I think it was Ranger David, you know, big Ranger David wrote a bunch of the Psalms. And Big Ranger David, man, just he was super thankful. And it's like, man, you know, God, help me to be more thankful. Help me to be more grateful. So give me a hashtag grateful, hashtag thankful in the, in the thread below. And I'd love to just have you put a first name of someone that you're going to reach out to today as soon as you watch this and just thank them. Thank them for being a friend. Thank them for being in your life. Just thank, you know, just thank them. All right. Love you guys. Let's change the world by changing your world by changing you.